Hey guys, Cecil Cat here, and this is episode 5 of my work in progress video. Here I've been working on propellant tanks, so let's start. I decided to do some scribing. I'm gonna be using different BMC chisels and Haikyu parts guide tape 3 and 6 mm. I'll start with 0.2 chisel, which will be my main one, and simply rescribe existing panel lines first. And let's make some new ones. I mostly use 3mm guide tape here. It's more flexible than 6mm, so more comfy to work with. Now let's modify the line. I restrict the area with the tape and use 0.6mm chisel to enlarge the part of the line. and repeated the process for other sectors of the tank. Most of the scribing is quite obvious and there is almost nothing to explain here, so please enjoy the video. I'm gonna add some comments if necessary. I draw the lines with the pencil here first. Then I use combination of 3 and 6 mm tape to make a desired pattern. Another lines and visual alignment check. Here is an interesting part. I'm gonna make a small pattern with 1.5 mm chisel here. I use calipers to set a half of the width, which is 0.75 mm and I use it to find a proper position for guide tape. Looks good. Restrict the area and scribe. Yep, right in the middle. I want to add some details over the corners, so I'm using this spin mold tool set from Gut Hand. Each bit has center pin, which allows you to set the tool properly with no problem. And you don't even need a drill, just a handle. Use the tool right on the piece. And I'm using this photo edge detail parts for these holes. For my 2mm hole I use a bit smaller parts, like 1.8mm, a tiny bit of super glue and super glue activator to instantly seal the work. It's time to get to the painting. I use black gloss paint as a base coat for the metallics. Now the metallic paint. I'd 
like to make a color separation here, so let's do some masking. Let's prime the main piece. And complete the duct nozzle parts with this beautiful Nazca surfacer, which I use here as an ordinary paint. This is Gaia X White, first color for the main piece. I'm gonna be using three color separation here, white, off-white and light gray, with the masking after each step. So the difference would be very subtle. Please mention that the temperature of these colors is quite different. Off-white is a warm tone color and light gray is cold tone, so they're gonna work nice together. Let's take off the masks to see what do we have here. As you see, it turned out very nicely. I also do some reverse wash here using enamel black. Now the decal time. I use this set of generic caution markings from Haikyuu Parks, as well as some leftovers from original water slide set. I also found this beautiful set of circle decals, also from Haikyuu. As usual, Mr. Mark softer to conform the decals. And also I decided to add more details to the tanks. Just cut these little pieces from styrene sheet. It should be here. Just need to paint it in some color. But which one of them?
yes, this looks good. Some pieces I left just white. Since I'd like to save my paint job, I used the white glue to seal them in place. While it dries, I'll seal the work with the matte lacquer clear. A couple of good wet coats will be enough. That's how it looks when it dries. And now. Let's build the whole thing. While connection is very tight, I'm not gonna use any glue here. It's all good. The job is done and that's the final result, guys. And that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.